This is Tahsin Mustafiz. I am a student of Tripoli Department of Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. This is a project that we developed for our control system 1 laboratory, Tripoli 402. And my other groupmates are Shariar Hassan, Saad Ahmed, Mahmudul Hassan, Shampriti Shah, and Smoth Jain. So, we call this project a car racing game. The, this pro project actually consists of two parts a hardware project, a hardware part, and a software part. We uh, developed our hardware part using uh, Arduino Mega. Here you can see it. This is uh, Arduino Mega 2560. And there is a breadboard. We, uh, I have connected a potentiometer here. This is a potentiometer of 5 kilo ohm. That means you can vary its resistance within the range 0 to 5 kilo. And there is this push button. I will explain it later. And there is a Bluetooth module which I will use for sending data from this Arduino to Android. Okay, first let me show you a demonstration of my project, then I'll explain it. Thank you. Okay, in this part, I'm gonna show you the software part and how I'm controlling this software part using my Arduino and control system. Okay, as you can see this, here is a device that is capturing my hardware part and you can see in this video in this part. Okay, and this Arduino is connected to my PC as you can show, as you can see here. Alright, here is my PC. Okay, so as I'm going to show you, first let me open this. This game actually take almost 2 GB of my RAM and my RAM is only 4 GB so it kind of slow down my PC's performance ok I have added a background sound in this game anyways as you can see this is the main option of my game ok just let me lower down my volume ok here it is this is start, instruction, requirements and about us. I'm gonna show you the start option later but first show me. Let me show you the thing about us. Okay, I'm just I'm just pressed on this and this is showing about us. Okay, just back again. Requirement, I'm pressing on this part. Okay. Here it is, requirement as you can see. It requires 2 GB of RAM. 2 GHz processor and at least 20 MB hard disk space and I have already told you the hardware part so I am not gonna do that again ok so this is the start option let me press it ok this is the game and I have to rotate my potentiometer to control my car's direction and speed oh it's finished already uh, actually for demonstration I've designed this program in such a way that it will only run for 90 seconds from the beginning as the 90 seconds are maybe over so the game kind of stopped anyways let me begin from the first okay start my video device cannot capture this video at very fast frame rate so it's kind of lagging anyways I'm rotating my potentiometer and you can see I am pressing this push button to accelerate okay here it is I'm pressing it again and this car is moving and I'm using this potentiometer The thing is, when will you will run this game, you will control to this car and move it just on the track, your score will increment. And when you are out of the track, your score will decrement. It. So there it is, you can see my score is 8 minus 84. We have added a voice control system into our game 
so a user can just execute a command from menu option by just uttering the saying the word for example if one says start it will start the game if one says instruction it will show him instruction and whatever but unfortunately it requires the internet and I don't have internet connection right now but I have recorded a video where I executed this voice command using internet connection so I'm just gonna show you this okay here it is I'm gonna just say this okay start okay as you can see after five or six seconds it starts actually actually it has been executed the thing is that's the problem it requires five or six seconds to convert your voice command into a string and execute your command so we have designed two part for our project one part is for uh, one part is for PC and another part for, is for Android so here you can see this is my tablet and this car racing BT here it is this is our designed Android app okay I'm gonna just press it now as you can see that it's wanting to request access to your Bluetooth okay I'm gonna just press allow now it's showing a list of available Bluetooth devices around so HC05 this is the name of the Bluetooth module I'm using here it is this is my Bluetooth module okay and there is a background music playing here okay I'm just lowering your voice HC05 okay now okay now it's connected to my Bluetooth module and I'm controlling it yes it is working nicely I'm rotating it by pressing the uh, rotating by position meter and I'm accelerating it by pressing push button now I'm releasing it yes okay as you can see its speed is okay now it's zero because I have released the push button so uh, it's completely working fine so if you have any questions just comment below i'll try to answer and thanks for watching